Hello everyone. What we have here is a um, simple clock that's made from a ESP8266 module. Right there you can see the module. It's got a tiny chip and a small gold trace Wi-Fi antenna. It's fed by 5 volts from the USB plug there and then it has uh, signal lines and clocking lines uh, that go out to this matrix display. Now you can daisy chain these displays. So if you wanted to double up on the length, you just simply connect another one to the uh, to the end. All the signals are passed through. So in my application here, I've set up a simple clock that's internet based. So when you plug this in, it gets the time from the internet. The first thing it does is connect to the Wi-Fi network. And as soon as it gets connected, it will go out and try to get the time and once it gets the time it will display it immediately the time is very accurate it's uh it's always on time there's no real-time clock in this 8266 module so it really must rely on the internet to get time and display time without an internet connection there's no time possible with the 8266 so Another use case application for this is if you have a driver that's behind your car that's a pain in the butt and you want to share a peace of mind with that driver, instead of rolling down your driver's side window, the low tech method is extending your middle finger as you raise your arm out the window, I've often done that, you could actually create a display by daisy chaining two of these and scrolling a text message that's pre-programmed so that that way you can share a piece of your mind with that asshole driver behind you. Kind of like a scrolling marquee, right? So there it is, right? I hope you've enjoyed watching and feel free to comment down below. Uh, if people are interested, I can share the source code. It's easily programmable through Arduino. And uh, the cost for this display is $4. The cost for this module is $6. So it's very inexpensive to make and a whole lot of fun. So if you're interested, uh, just comment below and I'll be happy to share the source code. Thank you.